Well, let's have some first impressions. What do you that think? That was uh, exciting. Very, uh, the power comes on real quick. <laughs> So if I had to get your first impressions after that run, what would you say? Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. It moves very well. It points very well. Um, no fuss, no muss. It, it does what it's supposed to do. And it's great. It's phenomenal. So uh, you've been following team driver Charlie Greenhouse this whole event by anywhere from quarter of a second to up to a second and a half. Where do you think you ended up on this one? I'd like to say I was competitive. It felt good. It felt fast. Well, you were faster than your best time in the Evo. Yeah. And you did a 102.66. Nice. So, um, Not bad at all. Great job. Thank you. Uh, first time in the car. Um, is there anything you'd change about the car? Is there anything you'd want to see if you were looking at the car? It, no, I mean, compared to my car, it's got a little, a little less on power kind of torque to it. When coming out, coming out of turns, I feel like I'm used to a little bit more push, but I'm also able to take these turns much tighter with with this car. So, in reality, I, I don't know that the time would improve by that, but it's it's a different feel. It's just it's a very well performing car. Tell me a little about your Evo. Uh, it's a 2006 Evo 9, uh, the last of the 4G63 two-liter uh, four-cylinder turbo engines, all-wheel drive. Uh, got a good amount of engine work to it, right about 400 at the wheels, uh, and some upgraded tires and some differential work to make it turn a little bit better. If you had to guess, what would this be making for power at the wheels? Oh man, I, I'd say at least on par. 180. Doesn't feel like it. Absolutely not. Is it something you'd want to do again? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a blast. It's, it's a good car. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. You're going to take this time for your competition or the Evo time? We'll, we'll take them both. Okay, we'll there you go. Both. Thank you very much, Tyler. Very, very good drive. Thank you. Yes, it's all electric. And that guy Charlie is really cool. He's worth talking to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. That's funny. This thing is bad ass. Wow. <laughs> so uh, you just banged out a 103. <laughs> I can't believe that. I really can't. Man, this thing. It's like a power wheels car that's not like slow. It's badass though. I mean, this thing's so cool. So that was your second run in the car, That's you were a little right. more comfortable, you understood the car a little bit better? Yeah, I felt and like I was able to throw it around a lot more and um, kind of really sneak through the slalom. Uh, I pushed it a lot harder on the backside coming through there and um, I felt good though. It felt super planted, I mean, no, no trouble at all. I'm Nick Warns and uh, yeah, I'm just shocked by this. <laughs> cool, thank you for driving and thank good you. job. So let's have some first impressions. I like the torque. It moves. Get it loose a little bit. Easy to catch. Very fun car. Okay. I mean, I know you have some experience in similar cars. Um, if you were to, you know, look at this as a as a new experience and not specifically electric, although you could speak to that, what would you, what would you say in contrast to other cars or in similarity to other cars, good or bad? Um, it, it's hard to compare it to what it came from just because it's autocross versus track uh, but you know it it just you throw it into a corner it grips you put the throttle down and you, you got to be careful and make sure you don't get it sideways and 